Runners are coming in and they're off for the Betway Bowl. This grade one over the three miles and a furlong, the short run down towards the first of 19 fences. Mr. Fisher just about in front over jump number one from in second, Clandy Zobo. Tiger roll a little wider out. John Joe O'Neill pushing and, and shoving along here on Native River. Wants to be a lot more prominent than he is as they come towards the open ditch at fence number two. They're all safely over. Mr. Fisher then, Clander Zobo and Tiger Roll, the leading trio. Two and a half lengths clear from Clondor Castle. Native River is in fifth. Behind Native River then, Militarian, the white and black from waiting patiently. A little wider out than ASO in the blue and white. The back market is real steel. Approaching the third. Mr. Fisher landed out in front from Clan de Zobo, twice placed in this race before. Back in third then, Tiger Roll, the dual national hero. And the 2018 Gold Cup winner, Native River, in fourth. Clondor Castle's next in fifth. Then Militarian from Waiting Patiently in ASO and Real Steel is at the back of the field. Around the corner they take then and make their way towards the fourth. Mr. Fisher's out in front, leading from Clan Desobo, Tiger Roll wider from him, and then Native River to complete out the leading four now. Then Clondor Castle, further couple of lengths back, a neck away then to Militarian, followed closely by ASO, half back to Waiting Patiently, and then Real Steel. At the first over on the back this time. Mr. Fisher landed out in front. Frank Landers Zobo in second. Native River moving up into third place now. Tiger rolls in fourth. Then Clondor Castle, Militarian Aso waiting patiently and real steel. Over this next one. All safely over that plain one. Now they run towards another open ditch. Fence number six. Mr. Fisher, Nick de Boyneville. Frank Landers Zobo and Harry Cobden in second. Getting over the ditch now. A little bit chancy there, perhaps ASO, but they're all still intact, the field, as they run towards the final fence over on the back. Fence number seven is pricked. Mr. Fisher out in front. Frank Landis Obo with those cheek pieces on for the first time today. Native River back in third. Then Clondor Castle, military and tiger roll has lost a few positions in this first circuit, then waiting patiently, followed by ASO, the back marker, the nudged along real steel as they turn to go towards the cross fence down the side. This will be fence number eight. Mr. Fisher enjoys himself out in front, leads over Clan de Zobo and Native River going over the cross fence. Then Clondor Castle military and waiting patiently Tiger Roll with ASO and Real Steel behind him at this point as they begin to make their way through their starting area and they head towards fence number nine. Mr. Fisher's out in front from Clan de Zobo and Native River coming towards the ninth. Militarian and Clondor Castle, the next pairing. Then waiting patiently, Tiger roll wider from him. Then Aso and Real Steel, and on towards another open ditch. Number 10, and it's Mr. Fisher from Clan de Zobo, over the ditch now. Native River has landed in third. Three lengths away, Militarian, then Clondor Castle to his inside. Waiting patiently is next. Behind him is Tiger Roll, then Aso and the still being just nudged along real steel as they run towards fence number 11, which will be the 19th and last in another circuit's time. Mr. Fisher over this one. Oh, really reached for it, didn't he? Went through the top of it and some. And now joined on the landing side by Clan de Zobo, but he's now regained that clear lead again with a lap to go. In the Betway Bowl, it's Mr. Fisher that leads from Clan de Zobo in second, Native River in third, Militarian racing to the outside of Clondor Castle are the next two. Then waiting patiently, about six or seven lengths away, the Tiger Roll has been pushed along on that bend from Real Steel and Aso is now just last. Into the back straight their head then, about to race towards fence number 12. And it's Mr. Fisher who's out in front. He's made all the running bar a few strides so far following that mistake at the previous. But he's back in front again at this one from Clan de Zobo. Oh, he's made a mistake again, Mr. Fisher. He's gone. He's unseated his rider. Mr. Fisher's out of the race, so Clan de Zobo now left in front from Native River as they run towards the 13th. Clan de Zobo from Native River, four lengths away to Clondor Castle and military into the outside. He made an error. Waiting patiently, he's creeping into it to the inside. They're clear then from Tiger Roll and Real Steel and Aso the back marker. 
at this open ditch over on the back. Landisobo landed with about a three-length lead. Native River now gets a wake-up call on the landing side of that fence. Then Clondor Castle and waiting patiently back in fourth from Military and fifth at the final fence over on the back straight. And they are getting pretty well strung out. Clandisobo leading at the end of the back again. From Native River in second and Clondor is showing back in third, then racing in fourth is waiting patiently. Militarians to his outside, and they've got a long way then clear from Tiger Roll and Real Seal and Aso, who does continue. They're racing towards the cross fence for the final time, four out. Clandisobo landed out in front. Clondor Castle continues to make ground. He's up into a travelling well second. Native River is ridden along on the turn in for home, about to be joined for that position by waiting patiently. Militarian will be fifth on straight up and they're a long way clear from the others as they race towards three out Tiger Roll just coming into the home straight now three from the end Clanders Oboe up and over clear by two lengths but here comes Clondor Castle to put in his challenge now on the run down towards the final open ditch this is two from the finish it's Clanders Oboe who will lead them to it from Clondor Castle over in second and now this long run between the final two fences Native Rivers landed over in third waiting patiently is back in fourth Tiger Rolls jumped that second last in fifth and then Aso Militarians pulled up and so too Real Steel as Clanders Oboe goes well clear going down towards the final fence has surely only got to jump it to win and he sails over this. Clanders Oboe 20 lengths clear now from Clondor Castle. Native River just coming to the final fence now but it's going to be third time lucky in this race for Clanders Oboe for Paul Nichols and Harry Cobden. Clanders Oboe has won the Betway Bowl. Clondor Castle's going to be home in second. Native River in third third. Tiger Roll's going to complete in fourth place. ASO's just got over the final fence, waiting...